Hi, Bill Jones from Turntastic Wood Designs. I recently watched a YouTube video from Bob at I Like to Make Stuff where he automated his uh, shop dust collection such that every time he turns on a tool, the proper blast gates are opened and his dust collector turns on. And then when he turns the tool off, it turns off his dust collector. And I really wanted to do that myself. He used some, uh, some electronic components that uh, intimidated me a little bit at first because I don't know the first thing about electronics, but I, I didn't let it stop me. And uh, I looked at what he did and I figured out how to do the same thing. So I now have an automated uh, shop that uh, the blast gates will open when I turn on a tool and uh, the dust collector will automatically come on. And that is a real uh, nice thing to have. If you'd like to see how I did it, uh, stick around. Don't be intimidated as I was with, uh, with these uh, components and some of the things that I say and the terms that I use, they're not that tough. Uh, it just took me a while to learn and, and to figure it out. And hopefully uh, you can pick up some things from me. This is the brain of the system. It's a microprocessor. A microprocessor is just a computer. This particular brand of microprocessor is called Arduino, and you'll hear me refer to this as Arduino. This, like all computers, takes input and then sends out output. It's used primarily to control devices, like in our case, we're going to use little motors called servos to open and close the blast gates, and a relay, which is just a switch, to turn on and off the dust collector. In this case, this Arduino or microprocessor has an additional component called a shield. All a shield is, is it pops on top of the microprocessor and allows you to control more devices than there are ports for on the standard microprocessor. So I just pop that together, and this will allow me to control 16, up to 16, uh, servos. I'm not going to do that many. Servos are just little motors, and uh, a whole variety of, of other options that, that I could do. The Shield has a power supply, and the Arduino, or the microprocessor, has its own power supply. So what this is, this is the, uh, the brain of the system, what it will do is we will use a voltage, um, voltage sensor to tell this machine that a tool has been turned on or off. And that will in turn say open and close the correct blast gates and turn on the dust collector. To make that work we need um, a couple more components. We need a voltage sensor that I mentioned. We need a um, servo that I mentioned, and we'll need a relay. And we'll go over those one at a time. This little guy here is a voltage sensor. And it does just what its name implies. It, it tells what voltage is going through a line at any given time. We're going to use that to determine when a tool has been turned on or off. To do that, we're going to build a voltage sensing outlet. So I start with a piece of extension cord. I've stripped back the, the wires. Black is for hot, white is for neutral, green is for ground. And I'm using a, uh, a box, uh, what do you call it, a, a junction box. And I'll start with a standard household plug. And just like on a standard household plug, you hook the green to the green screw for ground. You hook the white to the silver screw for negative. I've also cut off a piece of four inch piece of black and stripped both ends. I'll take this stub piece and hook it to the other side of the plug on the gold screw. Now, this 
voltage sensor has a place for the line and then three pins that will go to the Arduino. We'll start with the place for the line. It, both black wires go in into this and it doesn't matter which one goes in which. It can sense the voltage that's going across a line in either direction. So I'll get those in there. Now this voltage regulator, both um, both black wires have to go in there. So I'll take care of that. Okay, those are hooked up. Now, for these pins, I've got some number 20 wire. I'm sorry, 22 gauge wire. And I've got a three pin connector here. That'll hook right onto these, these pins. The other ends of these wires, of these thin wires, will go to the Arduino. And one here is marked VCC and there's a port here marked VCC. One here is marked ground and there's a port here marked ground. And then the third one will go to a numbered hole and that will be the number tool that we will be uh, monitoring. Now this this device measures the current that's coming through that line all the time. And when a tool is turned on or off, the amount of current that's going through the line changes. That's how you know a tool has been turned on or off. So it will send that change information back to the Arduino and the Arduino can say, hey, a tool has turned on I, or a tool has turned off and I can take action. I'll get this buttoned up. This is a servo. A servo is just a motor, an electric motor. What I'm more accustomed to with an electric motor is it has a shaft that comes out and that shaft will spin 360 degrees continuously as long as the motor has power. Well, that's not how a servo works. A servo is a motor, but instead of spinning like that, you tell the servo through code, through the Arduino, what position to turn to. So it turns part of the way and you can turn back. That's all the servo is. So I've got these servo motor motors and I got one for each of my blast gates. And I rigged up this, here's my blast gate. And here's the servo motor, motor, murder, servo motor. And this uh, bracket is put on it. This will connect to the shield uh, to control the servo to tell it to open and close the blast gates. <clears throat> this is a relay. A relay is just a switch, like the light switch on your wall. Instead of turning this switch on and off with your finger, a relay turns its switch on and off by receiving a small electrical charge or this relay does anyway, a small electrical charge like from a battery. The relay has four terminals, two for the input that would actually control the switch and two to split the black wire of whatever you're controlling. And I'm gonna use this relay to control my dust collector. I'm going to uh, wire up a plug that will be hooked to this relay so that I can send a signal through a microcontroller called an Arduino to determine when to turn on and off the dust collector. To make this is uh, not as complicated as it looks. You start with a, a simple cord that is, uh, it could be like off a computer or a piece of, uh, piece of extension cord. And I, cut the end off and strip the three wires. In the US, it's standard to have three wires, a black for the hot, a white for the neutral, and a green for the ground. I also stripped off an, a small piece of black and stripped both ends. This is about four inches long. To hook all this up, 
you start by, I'll take this cord and I'll hook the ground on a standard plug in the US. Again, you've got a green screw for the ground. You've got silver that matches, silver screws that ma on one side that match or, or that uh, hook up to the white wire and gold screws or gold colored screws on the other side that hook up to the black wire. So I'm going to go ahead and hook up the green wire to the ground. And the white wire to the silver. Then I take the black wire and grab the relay. And I put that black wire in on the, these are uh, marked in this case, one, two, three, and four. I put it in on the number one terminal on the relay. Then on the number two terminal on the relay, I take my little short piece of wire hook that on and hook the other end of that short wire to the gold terminal, gold colored terminal on the plug. Okay, that's that. Then I take some different wire. I've got some 20 gauge wire, also known as bell wire or thermostat wire. This is what will control turning the switch on or off. I put the red on the positive terminal of the DC side, which is marked number three, and the white on the negative side of the DC terminal, which is marked number four. And with that set up, I'll be able to, uh, using a controller, determine when to turn the dust collector on and off. Now I'm going to step away for a second because I'm going to go ahead I put it together like this so you could see well. I'm going to go ahead and take it all back apart and put it together inside a junction box so that it's all nice and neat. Now I've got it all put back together and I've got everything put neatly into a junction box. Um, and this will control my dust controller. To test it, I've gone ahead and I've taken this junction and the power cord off of that I plugged into the wall. I've got a little lamp here and I'll plug that into the relay plug and as I said to turn the switch on and off it just takes a small electrical charge which will later come from a microcontroller but for now we can test with just a simple battery and if I've got it set up right I'll put the negative to the to the white and the positive to the red and we get light we remove the charge light goes off add the charge light comes on so it's a simple switch so that's how you wire up a relay when I got all these components put together in the shop, now when I turn on a tool, my joiner for instance, the dust collector automatically comes on and the proper blast gate opens. Well, there it is. It, it came out really nice and is just what I need. I still need to get some more wire so that I can uh, hook up some more tools. Uh, I ran, actually ran the store out of wire, uh, underestimated how much I would need. But I get all that and now, uh, when I, now that I have this, my shop will never be messy again. So uh, looking forward to that. If you have any questions about this or any other project that I've done or anything you've seen in my shop or, or on any of my videos, please leave a comment below and I'll try to answer your questions. Uh, please like and share with your friends and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It really helps me out. And as always, thanks for watching.